we're told specifically has no imagination about the meanings or significances of things, which means he doesn't really understand that one could die from doing what he's doing. But uh, in a certain way, scoping out uh, this place to see whether he could get logs, that is a way of anticipating necessity. He's very resourceful. And uh, if it's to build houses or if it's to uh, use for gain or something like that, uh, this is a very resourceful man. Is having a lively imagination overrated? And aren't we better off being um, uh, sort of nose to the ground, uh, practical minded people who attend to the here and now and um, go about our business and let destiny take care of itself? Well, you know, the, the, the story, the story occurs on a day without clouds, right? There, and, and, and as Sorry. night draws on, uh, it, it's, there's nothing but these sparkling stars right. that seem to be, you know, so close to Earth. There's nothing, right, between this spot on Earth and the cosmos, this freezing cold cosmos. You need something. You need to draw something over that. The dog understands that in this, in cold weather, you either get under, you know, s snuggle down into the snow, uh, or you wait until a cloud cover. I also thought you might be suggesting that, I mean, again, to go back to certain things in the founding and tie it to this man, um, when Madison writes uh, in Federalist 10 in defense of the extended commercial republic, um, and he thinks about the causes of that great evil of popular government majority faction, um, there are three causes. Um, there are opinions, which very often mean, I mean, religious opinions or things, uh, things that fill the imaginations and, and longings of the soul. Um, there are passions of loves and hates, very often connected with glory-seeking, ambitious people who are also filled with imagination. And then there's the rather prosaic matter of... Um, you know, self-interest, this worldly, rather narrow things. And the suggestion is a politics built on the first two is very dangerous, dangerous even for ordinary survival and security, so that it's a country, in a way, by design, meant to sort of lower the sights of the imagination and perhaps provide something of this cloud cover in... Um, enterprise, business, commerce, the things of daily life.